What's up everybody, Adrian here, back with another video. And this writing tip I got for you, how to best use every second of screen time when you write your screenplay. Now the way a screenplay is spaced on each page is for one minute per page. Now I'm sure you've been to the movies where you've paid money and you're sitting there in the movie theater and the movie you're watching is just a character up on screen sitting there doing nothing. And you're asking yourself, what is the point of this? Now if it's like a drama or some independent film, I could understand even though still I don't like it. For example, I remember in The Strangers where you had the main actress in the kitchen just washing dishes for like five minutes straight while music was playing in the background. This didn't make any sense. Another example is with Blade Runner. A better example is with the sequel of Blade Runner 2049. You have a seven minute scene of the main character, robot guy, just walking through some abandoned furnace area warehouse. For seven minutes, he's walking. I get it. It's supposed to be suspenseful and whatever, but nothing happens. It's still boring. And it's especially worse when you have terrible dialogue because not only is nothing happening in the scene, but we have to listen to the most dullest, boring, mundane, useless dialogue you have ever heard. A what? What is that? A bon mi sandwich. What's a, what, what is that? I don't even know what that is. I love that about you, Francis. You're so predictable. You're like a PB&J everyday kind of guy. Here we go. No, a bon mi sandwich. Bon mi is essentially just the Vietnamese version of a French baguette. Mm -hmm. And the term actually refers to the bread and not so much the contents therein. So when you write your dialogue, every sentence should be some new information, a stepping stone to the next sentence with more and more information that does a few things. For example, it moves the plot forward. Besides being interesting and entertaining, it further develops a character. It further reinforces relationships between the characters. Maybe it's setting up the setups for later payoffs so they can be more satisfying. Or maybe it just adds bricks to build the character arc. Now I want to make a quick note. In some dialogue, you could have meaningless funny banter back and forth between two characters. And that is okay if you know how to do it correctly. The best example I can give you is in Lethal Weapon between Martin Riggs and Murtaugh. There's scenes, there's entire 10 minute scenes where they're just bickering at each other back and forth really about nothing that has to do with anything in the movie later on. The no setups is just them interacting with each other in a funny entertaining that's the key word and also interesting way that lets you know what type of character this person is or the personality that they have when they react to certain situations or certain dialogue between each other so I guess in a way it does have a purpose without actually setting up anything in the future another example is Quentin Tarantino all his movies are basically two people or a group of people sitting around for literally 25 minutes at a time Time talking back and forth about pointless things but because he's a good director and he knows how to properly move the camera and the way he writes his dialogue is very interesting and the flow is flawless you forget that you're just sitting there in a Quentin Tarantino movie for 20 minutes and nothing has happened and you're just listening to this story about some meaningless shit that really has nothing to do with the story but he's so good that you forget all that and in fact you want to hear more of the story but in order to be like the screenwriter of Lethal Weapon or Quentin Tarantino, you have to practice. And even then, after years and years, you're not going to be them. So don't try to be them. Try to be yourself. And I'm just going to end off on a quick point. Most writers get tripped up when it comes to writing exposition. It's usually two ways to do it. The wrong way to do it is where you're just sitting there between two characters and you're just plainly explaining what's happening. And that could be boring, uninteresting. And there's no avoiding it because it's a necessary evil to explain what is going on in the scene. So the correct way to write exposition is to either show it or if you have to write it, try to write it in an interesting way 
or during an action scene. For example, like in Terminator 1, where Kyle Reese is trying to explain that he's from the future to Sarah Connor. So instead of just sitting at a table for 20 minutes and he's boringly explaining it, no, it's during car chase where they're trying to hide from the Terminator. And it's very intense and it's very dramatic. And as the action scene is happening, the character is divulging more and more information sentence by sentence of the exposition. So by the time you get through the action scene to the end, you have already explained yourself and the audience is not sitting there falling asleep. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you in the next video.